In this video, I'm going to be comparing these two travel routers from GLINet, the Barrel AX and the Alpo model. I'm going to tell you which model I think you should get and which model I'm keeping and which one I'm returning. Maybe I'm returning both. Let's get into it. Over a month ago, I did a video on using a travel router from GLINet. Now that video was based on an older model, the GLAR750 slate model. That model has been long discontinued, but today I'm looking at some of their more current models. My name is Patrick and this is Everyday Tech. Everyday Tech for Everyday People. And here I have the GLMT3000 or Barrel AX model. And then I have the GLSTF1200 or Opal model. In this video, I'm gonna be comparing their features, comparing their setup process, the web interface, and do some performance comparisons with them. I'm gonna tell you whether you should pick up one of these. Now, spoiler alert, you should definitely pick up one of these, but which one? Well, that depends on your use case. Before I get into comparing these two models, let's talk about why you would actually need a travel router. Now, I talked about this extensively in my previous video, but let me quickly mention some of the things here. First, it's the matter of convenience. Let's say you're going to a new place, you're traveling with family, and you have a lot of devices that you're bringing with you. Instead of trying to connect each one of those devices to a new Wi-Fi network, you just have to set them up with this travel router. And when you get to that new place, all you have to do is configure that travel router to connect to that new Wi-Fi network. Second, it's a matter of security, especially if you're on an open network or even at, on a Wi-Fi at a coffee shop, this will allow you to be a little bit more secure. And if you connect to a VPN server, let's say either subscribed like NordVPN, ExpressVPN, or uh, some other VPN services, or if you have your own VPN service like I do in my house here using my Raspberry Pi, this is one really easy way to connect to a VPN server. Basically on all the GLINet uh, routers, travel routers that I've tried, I can configure the function button. I basically switch the function switch and automatically anything that's connected to the travel router is connected to the VPN server, my VPN at home. Basically, I don't have to go to every client or every device and connect and set up the VPN server that way as well. And lastly, it's for production uh, setups. So if your production setup needs a local area network, this is a really good way to set up your local area network on the travel router. So basically before you go out on location, set up all your devices, do your whole setup against the travel router. And then when you go on location, you're ready to go. Let's compare the main features of these two models. First, the Barrel AX. As the name suggests, it uses Wi-Fi AX or Wi-Fi 6, uh, the Wi-Fi 6 protocol. The Alpha model uses Wi-Fi AC. A Wi-Fi 6 or AX has a much faster, bigger throughput than the Wi-Fi AC, has more stable connections, can handle more devices or clients connected to it using at the same time using the same amount of power. Now the Barrel AX only has two ethernet ports. One of them can be used as a WAN port and it's actually 2.5 gigahertz, but you'll have to get other hardware to achieve those speeds. The Opal model actually has three ethernet ports. One of them can be used as a WAN port as well. The Barrel AX has USB 3.0 while the Opal model has USB 2.0. So if you want to connect a, a hard drive or a thumb drive to it via USB and share it with all the devices, uh, this is a great way to do it. Now, if you're only occasionally doing this or you'll never do it at all, then get the Opal model. But if this is important for you, then USB 3.0 is much faster than USB 2.0. The Barrel AX has faster processor and more RAM, and it has faster VPN connection whether it's to any wire guard or open VPN server. Setting up these devices is very similar to each other. You boot them up, you connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot that it creates. Then after you're connected to it, you go to the web admin at 192.168.8.1. You choose the language and you choose a new password. Here in the Opal model, you can do any kind of password, but in the Barrel AX model, by default, they want you to do a stronger password you can override and say that you want to use a weaker password. The other difference is in connecting to the hotspot. The Opal model still uses the older model like the other or the older way like the other models where the hotspot default password for the hotspot is good life. 
with the Barrel AX, actually it has its own uh, default password that's written on the bottom of the unit itself. And I can see why they did this. I bet you a number of people would buy these routers and never change the name of the network or the password of the hotspot it creates. You should definitely change the SSID or name of the hotspot and Wi-Fi password no matter what model you have. Here we are in the Ulpo admin panel, and this is going to be a very similar look to the Barrel AX admin panel. They both use OpenWRT as its backend, but with the GLINIT skin or admin panel over it, the Barrel AX has a more updated version of it, but they look very similar with slightly a different layout, uh, especially in the admin or navigation here. But the first thing you should always do when logging into the admin panel is go to the wireless section and change the name of the Wi-Fi SSID and the Wi-Fi key or password. You should do this both for the 2.4 gigahertz and the five gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Once you do that, the device will reboot and you'll have to reconnect to it. After you come back in, you, you, we have very similar sections in the Barrel AX as well as we'll see in a moment. But well, this section here is to connect to a Wi-Fi network, let's say at a coffee shop or any other network. You can also connect a USB modem or you can tether it to your phone through a USB cable as well. And then after that, we have the clients, the devices that are connected to it. And we have other configurations such as VPNs and other things that you can do with the admin panel. Both, both admin panels look very similar. Here we are in the Barrel AX admin panel. As you can see, the color scheme is a little bit different, but pretty much has the same functionality. Now, some of the navigation items have changed. For example, the upgrade nav is now under systems, but we pretty much have the same functionality with a few more settings that we can do. And like with any other travel router, we should definitely go into the wireless section first and change the Wi-Fi name and password but this does have a little bit cleaner layout. Everything is a little bit more well organized, but pretty much the same functionality with a few more settings that we can change. I did a few rough tests comparing the speeds of these different devices in different scenarios. Now I'm mainly testing out the internet connection and not let's say the local area connection or how many devices can connect to. I'm mainly concerned about the internet connection. Now, I say these are rough tests because a lot of different things can affect the numbers for these tests. Let's say there's a lot of traffic or a lot of use in my home network. Let's say my kids are watching Netflix. My cameras are picking up different activity at the same time. These can all affect the speeds of this test. And then the server that I'm connecting to to do these tests, that can affect the speed as well. And then everything in between my home network, all the jumps that I have to go through to get to the test servers, that can also affect the speed as well. And also if there's a process going on uh, on my computer, let's say the dreaded Microsoft software update, that can affect these speeds as well. The first set of tests I wanna do here is test out the maximum output or connectivity wirelessly with these devices. But before I do that, I, I need to do a baseline test or give you the maximum output I can get from my internet. So I have my laptop here connected via ethernet to my router directly, and I'm getting a, almost a gig up and down. I'm lucky to have fiber internet and my with my home internet. And then I'm testing out the Slate, the Opal, and the Barrel AX models. The Slate is the older one. I have the ethernet connected to each of them, and then I'm connecting my laptop to each of them to do the test. And so here is me testing out the Slate model, and then the Opal, and then the Barrel AX. And here are the numbers that I got from that for both downloading and uploading. And you can see the Barrel AX definitely has the better connection speed. Even though it says 379, I was able to get up to about 400 something on some of my tests. So I ran these multiple times and I tried to get the numbers that were pretty average. And the last test I did involved going to a coffee shop. Unfortunately on this trip, I only brought the Slate and the Barrel AX models. I anticipate the Alpo model being just as good as the Barrel AX or a little bit slower, but pretty close to that score. But before I did that, I did a test on my laptop connecting directly to the coffee shop's network. I got a download score of 187, upload score of 35, 
And this is pretty typical for coffee shop networks. Actually, this is a pretty good coffee shop speed from my experience. But when connecting to the Slate travel router and the Slate being connected to the coffee shop, I got a score of 47 megabits a second and down and 31 up. And then when I had the Barrel AX, I consistently got about one and a half times faster speeds on the download at 70 megabits a second. The upload speeds was a little bit faster, but around kind of the maximum speed. And this is very typical for, let's say, cable internet, which I believe this coffee shop had. Again, I believe the Opal model will be pretty similar to the Barrel AX in this case. And these are pretty good speeds as far as what you're getting with these travel routers. So as you can see from all the tests, the Barrel AX performed better in all tests and in all scenarios. But in real world scenarios and use cases, will we really be able to see a difference? Probably not. 99% of the time when I'm connecting to a coffee shop's Wi-Fi network, let's say a hotel's network, it's not going to be better than my home network. So for the most part, as far as performance and connection speed is concerned, we're really not going to see much of a difference there. So why would you get the more expensive Barrel AX model over the Opal model? First, it's a matter of protocols. The Barrel AX uses the AX or Wi-Fi 6 protocol, which is, gives you a better and stable connection. Now we just went through the test and the speeds are pretty close together as far as the speeds that we were testing. But let's say you're far further away from an access point at a coffee shop. This will give you a better range, give you a more stable connection that way. And if you have more devices connected to it, this will handle more devices and clients connected to it. But this depends on your use case as well. Then with the Barrel AX, you have the latest web interface and features from GL iNet. And this is a future-proof view for other updates that'll come as well. And then lastly, it has USB 3.0. So if sharing files uh, with uh, different devices while you're traveling is important to you, then get the Barrel AX. So why get the Opal model over the Barrel AX? Number one, it's cheaper. It performs very well at a great price. It's a great value. As of this recording, even with discounts on the Barrel AX, the Opal model is more than half the price. Then next, it does have an extra Ethernet port. So if you know that you need extra Ethernet ports, then get the Opal model. And lastly, it's cheaper. It's hard to overemphasize the value you get with this model. For me, the main thing I've been struggling with as far as choosing which model to get is whether I need any of these models or whether I really need to upgrade. I already have an older model. Well, there's reasons for me not to upgrade. For one, I was struggling how big these newer models are compared to the older model. I really like the compactness of this older model. As far as speed is concerned though, it is much slower. It did perform worse in all the tests, but is that slowness or performance reason for me to upgrade? As far as connection is concerned, not really, but there are reasons for me to upgrade to one of these models. The number one thing is USB-C connection. This older model uses micro USB, but these newer models use USB-C, which everything is going to USB-C, even the iPhone as well. And then I'm doing more production work, so I'll be able to utilize kind of the performance of these models, and I'll be able to use my older model at the same time with my production work as well. So would I recommend getting one of these travel routers? I say definitely yes, especially if you don't already have a travel router or you're not happy with the one you have right now. I would definitely give one of these a try. But which one? Well, for 90% of the people, I'd say from a value standpoint, get the Opal model. But what about me? Well, I'm going to be a part of the 10% and get the Barrel AX model or stick with it and return the Opal model. Mainly from the standpoint of I always want the fastest and latest and greatest. But also remember, I'm not only going to coffee shops or using this for travel, but I'm also using this in production setups as well. Either way, no matter which one you choose, I think you'll be very happy. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. Consider hitting that subscribe button. Until the next one, see ya.